Welcome back to the Istoff meet in Berlin. The next event on the track, the Istoff Mile, and Nouradine Morsali, another mile record attempt. He already is the world record holder at 344.39, the American record held by Steve Scott from way back in 1982. And we will see a series of rabbits in this race trying to lead Morsali to a world record time. Larry, I'm wondering if he is actually totally recovered from being spiked in the Achilles tendon in winning the gold medal in Atlanta. Dwight, I think the rest of these athletes, if they can figure this out, and they should be able to, realize that they're out for blood tonight. This may be only the first race, 1994 in Cologne. Since the Barcelona Games that Mar Morsley has lost a 1,500-meter race, we may see tonight. The reason is I spent about 20 minutes with him at the airport. He said since the Olympic Games that he won the gold medal at 1,500 meters. He had been able until last weekend to do nothing but jog 20 minutes a day. No fitness, no hard running because of being spiked and having his Achilles slightly ripped. Uh, he said the swelling was there and he couldn't do anything. He said, I am very short of conditioning. I will be surprised if he wins this. And if it's in a good time, I'll be amazed. Morsali currently in third place, excuse me, fourth put position. There's a series of rabbits, including Benzai Abdel Krim from Algeria, who is taking the pace through the first lap. Then Francis Rupp of Kenya is due to take over the duties soon. We saw Morsali lose in a 3,000 meters last week in Brussels to the phenom from Kenya, 20-year-old Daniel Coleman, who just missed the world record at 3,000 meters. As we now see Francis Rupp going into the lead. Morsley staying very close behind, yet still in fourth place, just 600 meters into the race. The first 400 meters covered in 56.7 seconds, slightly slow. They wanted 126 for the first 600 meters, and Dwight, they got exactly that, 125.8, as Rupp has begun to push the pace. That is Morsley hanging on in third, and right back there looming up is Venus Niangabo, who himself has been injured. He's in fourth place in the blue from Burundi and has been a chief protagonist over the last couple of years of Morsali, but lacks his finishing sprint. Sneaking around back there also is William Tanui, the 1992 Olympic champion at 800 meters. So plenty of speed in this race. If the pace tends to last, as we have less than two laps to go, Morsali now in third place trying to make a bit of a break from that pack with Venusti Nyangabo and William Tanui. Nyangabo, of course, the 5,000 world record, excuse me, 5,000 meter Olympic champion. In the mile, Francis Rapp has now actually got quite a lead over Nouradine Morsali at the Bell Lab. We'll have to see if Morsali has anything left in his legs as Nyangabo and Tanui are both very close behind. As you mentioned, Larry, may be the first time that he could be beaten since the 1994 Cologne meet. But he is now pulling away nicely from Nyangabo and Tanui. Well, Tanui's got some good speed left. Nyangabo himself has struggled. Also, Dwight, he has been injured with an adductor strain muscle down in his groin area, and he's holding on. He's limping, as a matter of fact, when you watch him in second place. Look at him carefully. He's struggling to hold on, and Morsali will be happy to get to that line first. He's running very well for what he did last week in Brussels where he lost the 3,000 meters badly in the last two laps, his stamina faded. A man who is not limping, Nouradine Morsali, he may not be up on his toes and sprinting like we're used to seeing him, but he will win easily here in the Istaf mile. It is not a world record, but it will be still an excellent time for a man who has had very little chance to train and prepare for meets under three minutes and 50 seconds for an athlete who has had some problem with his Achilles tendon, and Morsali wow. continues to be the class of middle distance running. I am amazed at that time for the injuries he had and what he did last week. Uh, you know, he probably worked on his fitness if, he, if the doctor gave him permission to do intervals this past week, but that's an amazing performance for what, how he, he fell apart in the 3,000 meters in Brussels badly. And look at him, he holds on very well. He's got something left down the stretch. As you see, second place and third, pretty distant in the background there. 349.09 seconds, absolutely terrific time here late in the season for a man that has trained and, and competed as long as he has, even, even indoors this year. Official results of the men's mile and Nouradine Morsali under 350 again, 349.09. Venusti Nyangabo from Burundi second and William Tanui of Kenya is third.